Hey, what's up? So uh, let's talk about uh, my plucking technique. We started from slow and uh, we get uh, to higher uh, level of playing. Then, then we can also hit notes during. But let's see first the basic. And for this, we can take uh, some deep purple song like uh, Lelena. And we started like uh, let's put capo two, and we're gonna play the chords A minor and E minor. And for start, we're gonna do. A minor and like a strum down with the thumb and then we're gonna do the pluck and now we won't do a full pluck because when you do a full pluck it blocks everything and we want the music to continue to play because when the drummer do so when you do the the music doesn't stop right everyone continue playing so this is also we need to make a pluck and the music continue playing so this plaque won't be a full one. And this is something that it's not natural when you try it for the first time, I know, but after a while when you train it, it will happen. You just need to make the plaque with the thumb and try to hit the sixth or fifth string just to make the other string to keep ringing. You hear? It's alive. It's not like uh, the first one. Right? So, it's like, it's not too much, it's not going up and down, but it's not also just touch. It's like make a movement like this. Stay close because you need to continue play here for after you play the better. Like right? So the thumb needs to do something like this movement of the hand. And just to touch. It's the same sound as the full full one, you see? So it's okay. And never mind, you can hit the sixth or fifth string. So the, the training will be to do A minor and pluck. A minor, pluck. E minor, pluck. E minor, pluck. This is the, the basic of this training. And instead of this, you can do like a strum like this, I don't care. Do this and then pluck. But the thing is that to pluck with the thumb just on the sixth or fifth string. And if you're bowing for this, you can continue after this, after two times A minor, E minor, go to D minor. And G. Blame ya. Ah, C. Can blame ya. Oh, Elena. E major. And another round. Okay? So this is first. Now after uh, you feel more uh, like you do it uh, with no problem, you can go to the next level, which is to add some things in the middle during, like uh, Okay, before it, you can do like this, and bass, bass of A minor, like bass, bass on the open A, right? Chuck, bass, bass, chuck, E minor, full, chuck, bass, bass of E, chuck, This is how you train your hand and your brain to respond to this kind of unnatural movement. D A minor on the D, the, the G, G, G. So now the thumb is also make the bass and also pluck. And this is you need to get the thumb to do this to think that she's also the bass player and also the drummer. Okay, so this is the second round. And the fir third round of it, after you feel comfortable with it, is to add, now to make the other uh, fingers to work and make the music down, because this is the finger style that we want to add after it, right? So in this case, it will be like... Just add uh, in the middle, when you have time, between the pluck and the bass, is just try to make the finger work. So you don't have to do something fancy, like... A, even one note. But you see, I don't care. Whatever you want, you can add in between. When you add 
this, you don't have to do the bass all the time. You can just do one like this, like the first round, you know? And that. Okay, now, the third, uh, after you can do this and you feel freely inside this rhythm and all this, you can start to do the last uh, uh, drill here. And this is to make a note with a note, to pluck and also make a sound. This is like the staccato with the sound during. So how we do this? Let's say, before we even start to do it inside the song, let's try to do it with a... Um, um, just to take, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, F, F sharp, uh, minor, pentatonic scale, like, uh, you know, regular. Okay? But instead of do it regular like this, you try to knock it. And how you knock it? You pluck it, let's call it. We're gonna make a sound, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so how we gain the sound? Because you heard also a knock and also a note. I'm just, I'm going on like this. It's, it's, like, it's like a knock, but I, I'm, I'm already fisted. I'm not like, I'm not coming this way, right? I'm coming like, I'm not fist, but I'm in this position. And so I'm gonna touch this part of the, mostly these two fingers, the middle one and the ring one. It can be also the, the index, whatever you want. But try to hit the bottom part of the nail, that this will hit the, the note that you want. And when you do it, all the hand and the thumb is landing on the guitar, so you have also a knock sound, like a But you see, I also choose one note. It doesn't have to be the scale, it can be a random notes, like a It doesn't matter, it's just the thing that you know that you want to hit a certain note and you will succeed to hit this note. This is the training is about. To know, let the hand know where, where to hit. Okay. You see, I'm not, I'm, I'm not missing. If I try and I, let's say this note, I want to pluck it. So when I start, I do, oh, I missed it. I missed it. Okay, it's starting to get it. Yeah, this is the note. Okay, so then, so just do it in your pace and try to hit the note. And after a while that you feel free with it, try to do like this. And you see, this is the... It, it comes mostly from this part of the hand, the knock. It's not even from this, it's like... I'm just landing. The, the landing um, naturally makes the plug sound. You don't have to think about it. But you need to know that you need to, to touch with the nails. I, I think I touch with both fingers together. And it's okay even to touch other strings while doing it, but... You need also to, to hit the note that you want. This is the most important. Like if I want to hit this, it's okay to do. I don't care if I also touch this, but but you also hear this. This is the most important. This is the main note that you hear while hear while do it. Okay. And then after you succeed to to do it, you can go back to the song and do like I do. But the second string is a knock with a note, like I did now. And I'm not, I'm, because I think I, I don't hit it while I think about it, but if I do it naturally. So here you, the, the drill will be A minor, pluck, tuck, tuck, and one, and the two, we need to do one, two, three, but the two will be and knock with a note. And E minor, the same, E minor. One, two, three, the two will be the knock, again. And you know, even if you miss the note that you want, it's okay, but just keep the rhythm and let, let it continue going. The, the, to, to, to touch the note that you want. I, I also sometimes miss, but I don't care, it's okay. I just continue the rhythm and next time I will hit it. So just don't stop the drill. The, best, the most important thing is to continue to do this, never mind what's happening in the, in the practice.
Everything is the same tune. One, two, three, and the two is the knock. Then you can do two, two, fourth string, second fret, third string, open, and A minor. Now back, do, 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 and this will be a knock with a note. And back to fourth string, second fret, on B minor, and the same. And now, sometimes when I'm in the middle of the song and I don't have anything to eat, like here, let's say, so you see, I, this is like the fourth uh, option of the strumming. I do a strum, but it, it's not a regular strum, it's a strum that I land on this part and the thumb, and you also hear a knock, but it's also a full strum. Like a... Like this. You hear? It's not like a... Even though it's pretty close, but a, a strum and I land here. And this is make a little, a little knock, like you, you feel the rhythm inside. This. Okay, so this is the practice. I hope it, uh, it will help you a bit. And uh, go on. See you soon. Bye-bye.